Hi, it's Simon here, uh, DJ Demon D from Precision Piezo. Um, I'm here to show you how to assemble our new system, which is called the Precision Piezo Orion. Uh, the Orion is an evolution of the uh, Piezo 20 system that we currently uh, currently have. Um, essentially, it's been designed to be simpler to assemble to incorporate a built-in Bowden coupler so that it's compatible with uh, direct or Bowden uh, hot-end systems, um, to have an integrated PCB with the piezo discs uh, integrated into the PCB which gets rid of any um, uh, cabling or fly leads which can become detached uh, or desoldered. Um, you will receive in the kit a lower part, a PCB, a standard 3-pin end stop cable, um, the upper part, which in this case, uh, as shown, is the uh, groove mount version. We also do a screw mount version, which looks like that. Assembly is exactly the same, but you will choose one of these two parts to, uh, to use. Um, you will get uh, DuPont housings for four-way and three-way connections, four short M3 machine screws, and one long one. Um, the system has been designed to fit the E3D V6 hot end heatsink. Um, essentially as the heatsink is connected to our unit you can use uh, whichever heater block on here you wish, be it the V6 or the Volcano. Um, it is also possible to use uh, compatible V6 heatsinks or clone V6 heatsinks. Um, even the type with the large uh, pneumatic fitting uh, for the Bowden tube on, what you'll need to do is to unscrew that and put it to one side as you're not going to need it uh, with our system. If you have the E3 the E3D V6 genuine uh, heatsink, which has the small built-in uh, Bowden coupler, much like this type that we're using, um, you may wish to remove the actual fitting from the inside of that so that you do not have uh, two Bowden couplers, uh, which would make removing your Bowden tube very difficult. So remove the fitting um, if you if you have that type. The only E3D V6 heatsink we cannot support is the 3mm Bowden as the actual groove mount on it is far too long to fit into our unit. Assembly is relatively simple. The lower part is a flexible clamp. All that's required is to prise it open a small distance, place the heatsink within the clamp and then take the long M3 machine screw and place it through the side and then to do it up. It only needs to be tight enough that your hot end heatsink cannot rotate once it's inserted. Um, we then place the PCB on top and then your chosen top part, whether that be the groove mount or the screw mount. Take one of the short screws and place it between the top part, the PCB, and the lower part there are four corner holes. Once you've done that, all that's required is to tighten them. This unit is not as sensitive to how much torque is used to tighten these screws as the Piezo 20 that it replaces. Uh, you need to do them up so that they are reasonably snug, they don't need to be excessively tightened. What you will notice as you tighten them is that there are small bosses on the lower part which allow the preload on the PCB to be set essentially by tightening the four screws evenly. Uh, the PCB will flex very slightly as you tighten up the four screws. Once they're done up, then you have the fully assembled unit. This can now be inserted into your 3D printer. We've chosen to change the pinout, so if you are upgrading from the uh, Piezo 20 unit, um, please check your wiring. So essentially we're now using the standard end stop cable pinout, which is the positive VCC, that can be 3.3 or 5 volts depending on your 3D printer controller. The central black ground wire and then the green um, trigger or signal wire in that order. On top of the PCB they are marked V+, GND and SIG. Essentially that wire is inserted onto the header B 
beneath. Um, there is a 4-pin and a 3-pin um, housing to attach it to your 3D printer controller board. Please check your controller board's documentation as to which order these 3 pins are placed. Uh, please also see our next video which will be how to tune the unit. Thank you.